Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to come on here to um, give you a comparison of some high-end concealers. Um, I know that there's quite a few out there and I have quite a bit, few of them. So I figured I would come on here and give you guys a little um, brief description of them and how I feel they perform. Um, if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and get started really quick. Um, so I'm not going to go in order based off of when they were actually released. I'm just going to grab and pull. And as always, I will try to insert like the price point for them someplace um, like up here or something like that, wherever, um, you know, or, you know, insert them where you can get them and everything else. I always try to list that down in the district description bar. Anyways, so the first one that I wanted to talk to you guys about is this one right here. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. Um, this this one I believe is an oil base um, it's or a water base it's very runny um, let me see if I could show you guys this it is definitely very runny um, if you could see it's gonna drop it's like super well, I'm not too sure if the camera is gonna pick it up but you know it does definitely drop um, I don't feel I, I like this concealer it's not super thick um, but I don't think that it gives you a lot of coverage. So that's what it looks like. And then when you blend it out, um, I do like this concealer. I just think that it um, is like a medium coverage. And um, so there it is right there. Um, I don't pull from this one um, the most. Um, this is just one of the ones that I do pull from um, or that I pull the least from. The next one that I have is again, it's um, from Tarte and it's the Shape and Tape Concealer. It looks like this. Um, and I always get my concealer super light. I'm not too sure. Uh, for me, I just prefer them to be super light um, and lighter than my skin tone. I don't do the whole, I mean, you could see this is pretty light. Um, I don't do that whole, um, you know, a few, uh, one, one skin shade lighter. I never do that. So this one is the um, Shape and Tape, if I didn't say it already. I believe this one's an exclusive one for Utla. Um, and it does look like this. It does have an alpha, uh, a dofa applicator and, um, it is a little bit thicker than the other one that I just showed you. There's the color. Um, it is a little bit thicker than the other one. I do feel that this one is a uh, better coverage than the Rainforest of the Sea collection. Um, I do like this one better than the Rainforest of the Sea and it is right there. Not super thick. Um, it does not crease on me. Neither does the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea um, collection. Uh, or what is it aqua concealer um, that one doesn't um, crease on me either but um, it is definitely there you know I definitely do like the shape um, the newer um, concealer from Tarte more than I like the older one okay the next one that I have is um, by NARS cosmetics and it is the NARS I believe it's what is this called the radiant creamy concealer um, I do like this one but this one does crease on me I think that it the reason why it creases is because it is a little bit on the thicker side so it does look like that um, it gives you an amazing coverage I'm not gonna lie I love the coverage on it um, when you blend it out it does definitely give you great coverage however it is on the thicker side so it does definitely crease on me um, it just recently started doing that I don't know if my skin is changing or or what but it definitely does crease on me um, so I believe that one is like $28 um, the next one that I have is the born this way concealer it looks like this this one again is another newly released one um, and I believe you can get this one at Sephora and um, Utla if I'm not mistaken, it looks like this. Again, this one's a little bit on the cream, uh, thicker side. However, it is pretty creamy, so I do like this one as well. Um, the coverage on it is definitely, um, I think, medium to full coverage. It looks like that, so I do like that one. Um, and the next one that I have is by um, Makeup Forever. It's an HD. It looks like this. And um, these are really, really highly pigmented um, 
found uh, concealers. I really do like these. A little bit goes a long way. And um, I know that they are super pricey, but um, you know, like, like I said, a little bit goes a long way. It is, again, a little bit on the thicker side, um, but I do really like these a lot. Um, and so when you blend it out, this one as well gives you, uh, I, th I believe a full coverage. Um, it does definitely is a full coverage for myself. Um, the, the thicker ones that I have are definitely, um, more prone to cake under my eyes or, you know, crease under my eyes. So, um, you know, and I do have oily skin, so I don't know, you know, like I've tried them with different setting powders and whatnot, and it definitely does do that. And I have two more that I wanted to talk about. I'm sorry, I have three more to talk about. So, um, or four more to talk, well, three more to talk about. I just have two in different colors. Um, so the other one that I would like to talk about is by MAC. It's the Prolong Concealer. It looks like this. I believe this retails for $22. Um, this one, I used to be my ride or die back in the day. Um, and I just recently just stopped using it. It's definitely super thick in consistency. Um, it's right there. That color is not a color that I would necessarily use. It is creamy, but it is on the thicker side. I used to use this all the time. This used to be my ride or die, and I just stopped using it because I just did not like it. Um, I don't know. Like I said, my skin maybe is changing, um, but, uh, you know, it was, once upon a time, my favorite concealer, and I just... Um, I don't know. I just don't like, I, I'm finding that the thicker concealers, I do not like that much. Um, or I don't like as much as I did back in the day. The next one that I wanted to talk about is the new Kat Von D. Um, this was a recent purchase for me. Um, what is this? Locket Concealer Cream. Um, I do actually, I, like I said, I just recently purchased this one. I do like this. Um, I think the, the coverage on it is amazing. This is probably by far the thickest concealer that I have. I will swatch it for you guys. It's super light in color. Like I said, um, I prefer my highlighters to be lighter than darker. So it is super thick and super lighter um, than most. And let me go ahead and blend it out so you guys could see. Um, and it's going to look extremely white on me and it really is. I don't know if the camera is going to show up true to color, but, um, it's definitely, um, too white of a color, believe it or, or, um, you know, that color is definitely too white for my skin tone, but I do like it. How I make that one work. I actually, uh, put a little bit of oil when I'm using it and, um, so what I do is I'll, I'll go ahead and put um, a little bit of oil. So I'll go ahead and put it underneath my eyes and then I'll just put like two drops of oil and I'll use my blend beauty blender to blend it out. And the last concealer that I have that's considered um, high end is the Urban Decay Naked. Um, what is this? Naked Skin. I think it's like Weightless Concealer. Yeah, Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Um, I do have these in two colors. I have it, um, you know, a color that's a little bit closer to myself. And then again, I do have that wider color um, that everybody um, likes. The, these concealers are super, um, let's see, this one right here, this color right here is Fair Neutral. And then this one is Light Neutral. And um, they're definitely, uh, you know, like two different colors. However, I do like them both equally the same. Um, I think the, the darker one right here is the light neutral. Um, I do like these. These are probably by far my favorite concealers out of all the concealers that I own. They blend out ama amazing, amazingly. Um, I absolutely love them. I think that they don't ever crease on me. I've tried them with uh, cheap setting powders, high-end setting powders, everything, and all the um, powders that I try them with is, um, you know, it's all the same thing. I always um, end up... Um, I always end up um, never having them crease on me, so um, I really do like those those concealers. Those are probably by far my favorite concealers. If I had to choose between all of them, um, it would definitely be the Naked Skin. Um, I just think that they give you full coverage, yet they are not going to crease on you or anything else. Um, 
so I do like those the most. Um, out of all of them, what is my least favorite? Um, like I said, again, my, my skin is easily um, creasy nowadays. I don't know why. It's definitely changing. So like the Locket Concealer by Kat Von D. It's a great concealer, don't get me wrong. Um, as well as, excuse me, the MAC, the MAC Concealer. Um, the NARS and the Too Faced Concealer. These three concealers are a little bit on the thicker side. Um, MAC, I find, is the least of my favorite one just because I feel like they just don't blend that well. Um, NARS would be probably my second one. It's definitely creamy, but like I said, for some reason, it has been creasing on me. Um, but anyways, if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. Um, tell me what you guys are doing. Maybe you guys could give me some tips. Um, like I said, they do crease on me on the thicker side, and I don't know why. Um, I don't know what I'm doing differently, but um, I definitely like them all. I just really tend to pull from uh, for the Urban Decay or the Urban Decay um, Weightless Concealer. That one is probably by far my favorite one. Um, anyways, I will try to insert, insert price points and links as always of where you can get these. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.